we have 1 and 2 sevenths minus 4 sevenths. But we have a problem here because the fraction we're subtracting is larger than the fraction in our mixed number. If we only have 2 sevenths, we can't take 4 sevenths away. So what we need to do is change our mixed number to an improper fraction. 1 and 2 sevenths is the same as 9 sevenths because 1 times 7 is 7 plus 2 is 9 and the denominator stays the same. So now we can subtract 4 sevenths. Remember, when we're subtracting fractions with the same denominator, the denominator stays the same in our answer and now 9 minus 4 is 5, so our answer is 5 sevenths. 1 and 1 fifth minus 2 fifths. Again, the number we're subtracting is larger, but we know that 1 and 1 fifth can be written as an improper fraction. That's 6 fifths because 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6 and the denominator stays the same. So now we can subtract 2 fifths. The denominator stays the same in our answer. 6 minus 2 is 4 so our answer is 4 fifths. 1 and 1 eighth minus 3 eighths. So 1 and 1 eighth is the same as 9 eighths because 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9 and we're subtracting 3 eighths. The denominator stays the same. 9 minus 3 is 6 so our answer is 6 eighths. And now 1 and 2 sixths minus 5 sixths. The number we're subtracting or the fraction we're subtracting is larger than the fraction in our mixed number. But we can change this to an improper fraction. 1 and 2 sixths is the same as 8 sixths because 1 times 6 is 6 plus 2 is 8. We're subtracting 5 sixths so the denominator stays the same. 8 minus 5 is 3, so our answer is 3 sixths. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.